y'all. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. Okay, make a Stop being weird. Just subscribe. Hope I'm not that boring. Hey YouTube, so I'm gonna get some updates. I have decided that I'm getting bariatric surgery. I'm already going through the whole process and my surgery is in a week. Y'all, it's finally here, it's finally here. But I'm really not that big. I have health issues, but I'm really not that big where you would think I would be getting it so I really wanted to make a video for my ladies who are thinking about getting this surgery but they don't really meet what society thinks it takes to get it so where should I start because it's just a lot um the hardest thing about going through the process is really just kind to trying to admit that you need help so I've always been kind of on the chunkier side, always, even through middle school. It wasn't until I got a boyfriend in high school to where I just like lost the weight because my man best friend was a girl. So that was a no-go. And so, yeah, I started to lose weight and I, one summer I just dropped all the weight. Look at my skins and bones, skins and bones. And I basically kept it kind of off, you know, maybe 10 pounds there or less, you know, back and forth. But things got bad when I got to college. It was terrible. Freshman 15, tough. I had like a whole freshman 50. And then I still didn't even lose that off at all. Like, uh, maybe like a year after that, I lost some more weight. Not originally down to my bottom but um it all came back it all came back add on birth control pcos i mean it's just a plethora of shit that had me not losing the weight like i should or keeping it off the way i should so i really do need help i love to work out working out is not an issue it's the food it's the food and some of these health issues that i struggle with of why it's a lot harder for the weight to just shut off by the time I start working out, yeah, I keep it up for like two weeks. But if I don't see the results I want, I get discouraged. I, I, I really do. So now it really boils down to the most annoying part of the process. It's the lack of support. Okay. So I know a lot of people are not really... No, I take that back. A lot of people were trying to discourage me from the surgery as if they know me. And some people do. Some people know me. The hardest part is family. And family supports your overall goal, but they may not really support... Sorry, I'm going to scratch my armpit. Um, they may not really support your way of achieving that goal, if that makes sense. So, um, I've had the members very close to me have very strong opinions about me not getting the surgery. They think I have what it takes to do it myself and blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, y'all, I'm 25, you know? I'm 25 years old. That's too young. How... How you going to tell me? You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm 25, isn't this the years I need to have my young life? Like, how many 25-year-olds, when you were 25, were you thinking about how much energy it's going to take to tie your shoes? What events you can and cannot go to because if you got clothes that fit you at 25? No, I don't think so. I would really like to do something more with my life than go to work look in the mirror and be upset at how I look no mm -mm. not doing it so 
that was the, I mean, that's just the hard part. But at the end of the day, I'm doing it for myself. And I'm, I'm ready to take on a healthier lifestyle with help, you know? Oh, one big misconception about why people think I'm getting this surgery. A lot of people are like, oh, you're just doing it. You're beautiful just the way you are. Pause. I know I'm beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for telling me that. However, I don't appreciate you tell, telling me that to discourage me of doing something that I have chosen to do. I know that I'm cute. Well, I know I'm not no Insta model. I'm not none of that, but I'm damn sure not ugly at all. And I think me and you both know that. That's fine. But, um, talking about some, oh, you'll find a husband. People should love you just the way you are. I have no problem pulling men. At all. That's not a problem. But the problem is, is I'm not comfortable in my own skin. So let's drop that misconception that what I'm doing is to please a man or to attract a husband or any of that jazz because that is not what it is. Okay. So currently, everybody said I don't look it, but I feel it. My start out weight, I'm so embarrassed, y'all, 245 pounds. Now, I ain't gonna lie, it's in some nice areas, but I feel it, you know, I feel it. My blood pressure, stupid high, out of breath, up the stairs, I can be, I gotta scoop, I gotta, into them jeans, um, I wear a size 16 in jeans, stretch, I'm not gonna lie y'all, if I put on a regular pair of 16s, ain't happening. I wear extra large in shirts, I got the jugs up here, I'm just trying to put it in perspective about, you know, what size I am, um, you know, I got the, you know, I got the little chunky cute little push thingy in the front, but um, the biggest issue I have is this. Back fat, y'all. Whoever came up with that is the devil. So I know I'm talking about size. I know I'm talking about size. A lot of YouTube people, they don't show you. They don't show you. So I'm going to show you. This is going to be embarrassing, but I'm going to show you why, okay? Okay. So y'all, dead serious. Would you look at that? These what, 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 what you call these, flanks? Yeah. Mm -mm. It's got to go. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I keep on having these dreams. Like, I've been looking through all these YouTube videos and reading these articles. I keep on having dreams, like, going back and forth on whether I want to get it. Or not because that's something serious, yo. Like you're cutting into your body. There could be complications that you don't know about. And there are complications that have been talked about, but am I willing to live the rest of my life like this? I don't think so. I don't think so. But um it's a week before surgery and the dream still haven't stopped. Like during the day, I'm all for it. But it's like when I sleep or right before I go to bed in the dark, you know, those doubts, they do haunt the back of my mind. And it's a lot harder to go through with it when you have people who don't support your decisions, but they support you, you know. So that's that. I, some of the things I found very helpful is to have a team. If you have more than one person going through the process with you that can, you know, talk to you about it and you can express your concerns with one another and just kind of have more like a support group. There's a lot of them on Facebook and shit like that. Um, the other hard part is this two week pre-op diet that I have not followed. It's a week before, so I'm going to try to get on my shit as if, a uh, well, tomorrow's it's Memorial Day weekend, so Monday. 
gotta get my rib in real quick, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, um, y'all just pray for me. And if you have any suggestions, I know a lot of you guys have already been through the process. If you have any words of encouragement or just some advice, please drop it below. <laughs> drop, drop. Drop.